uh, Dave Moss, staff writer at the Santa Fe Reporter. I'm listening to tapes and tapes because they're coming to town this week. Uh, maybe I'll flash up on the screen what the date is. Anyways, I'm sitting on the tracks that the rail runner comes down. I'm going to give you a little pan. That direction is uh, going towards uh, downtown. That direction is leaving town. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm used to riding trains and seeing a lot of graffiti. Not seeing a lot out here, but uh, I'll show you what I do see. Well, what do we have here? We have some prime filth. That's some scribbling right there. Look at this. Straight out of a 13-year-old's sketchbook. Or corners of his, uh, of his mead pad. What is that? I am Gop? Or I am God? Wow. Oh, no, it's God. God was here. And, uh, yeah, God was here. And he made that. And apparently God wants to fuck the pigs. I'm going to say this one of this batch of puerile scribbling is the best. Looks like it might have been done with somebody else. But it's, it looks like the same spray paint can. But uh, looks like we got uh, the kings here. It's the three-pointed crown up. Except... Uh, what is that? Little one-eyed guy. SKQ. SK Theta? I don't know. SKO with a line through it. SKU. Alright, we're gonna keep moving. Okay, so there are some adorable ones along this embankment. We're uh kinda near Second Street. Okay, so this looks like uh a little more of that SKO, the 610. Um, and you get this little snake thing. I guess these are bunnies, bats, dogs, chihuahuas, screaming guy. He's got some uh, neon green blood coming out of his mouth there. I do like this one now. Oh, I'm so sad bear and purpleness there one of the masterpieces of the area is a uh, mummy worm worm mummy the exclamation point and then on the side we've got flame and mouth robot dude with snaky bony spinal arms and a uh, yellow heart thing. Is that like a single dreadlock eye stock? I, I don't know. But there's the bear again. Okay, so from what little I know about gang graffiti, and this isn't saying that this is gang graffiti, is that when you put up a tag and someone puts an X through it like that, I mean, look at that. That's a big X on every single one of these. So that's a, that's an act of war. Or maybe it just could be a upset landowner with barbed fence. What is the point of tagging behind a tree? All right, so maybe these are getting a little better. And they're not great. But, okay, so I got to show you this. This is one of my favorites out here. Uh, this is some sort of control box, right? You know, and you look like you got this little robot dude right here. And then, along the side, Robo Lovin'. Robo Lovin'. Back up and give you a, a better view of it. Robo Lovin'. It could use a little work, but it's a nice little symbol. The angel with the briefcase could make a nice tattoo. But then we've got the Mong Hordes. 
And I have found what looks like a spool of neon green string used by the construction people. You have no idea how tempted I am to go have some fun with this. But I am a professional, and I'm not... No, I'm not. I'm not going to mess with it. Someone tagged the gong. Behind barbed wire, too. Now this... This is an interesting contrast. You got spray paint, marking the right away. It's all the way down there, orange and white. You gotta walk down this path like this and see this spray paint everywhere. Um, I don't know what vandalism is, but this is pretty ugly. Okay, so this isn't graffiti either. This is just something the uh, construction right-of-way, Department of Transportation, whoever put down here. Can't tell the difference though, except that it's on the ground. But it uh, doesn't look any better than the graffiti on the walls. Okay, we are now at the Rail Runner station. As you can see, They've managed to keep it pretty clean. So, uh, that's the end of today's journey. Alright, it's the next day. Um, as an addendum, I'd like to uh, point out that those uh, spray paint along the street, those grow into uh, wooden poles.